Hey guys, and welcome back to another video. Today, we're going to be talking about ant communication, and more specifically, pheromones. Whether you know it or not, if you've ever seen a trail of ants, that is from pheromones. You may be asking, what even are pheromones? Well, basically, they're just a chemical signal that ants release depending on what it is. An example of pheromones could be when a scout ant finds food. What they'll do is they'll go back to the nest and release a trail of chemicals behind them, which will help other ants go back there. And the more ants go, the more pheromones get laid, until there's no more food. And this is what's happening here. But just because these guys are eating sugar, doesn't mean it's primarily for sugar, as they'll also lay down pheromones for protein, and they'll also lay them down for seeds. But even if it's a big food source, that doesn't mean that the whole colony will leave, as basically ants have these things called social stomachs, and they feed each other through trophallaxis, which you'll be able to see as their gases expand and will turn green in this instance. This is because I'm giving them coloured sugar, and if you've given your ants coloured sugar in the past, tell me in the comments below. Oh, and whilst you're down there, you might as well subscribe. But, back to the video. Pheromones can be used for other things as well, like protection, as if one ant gets eaten or attacked, it can release a distress pheromone, which will ward off other ants of the same colony. They use this to tell whether another ant is part of their colony or a neighbouring colony. You can also see their stress pheromone being used as when I take off their lid, they go absolutely crazy. This is because in the wild, if their rock or well their nest in general was uncovered, then they'd need to get into a safer place as it was probably from a predator. And here you can see a bit more clearly what I was talking about earlier with the trophallaxis as they drink and fill up their gasters with green liquid and then they feed it to the other colony members. But that's the basics of pheromones. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.